Welcome back to the channel, people. We have a lot of sneakers releasing in the coming weeks, and we're going to see are they a cop or a drop. We're going to see what's going on. Let's get to it. That's dope. First up, we have the Nike Air Max Scorpion in the Phantom colorway. Don't know why it's called Phantom because it actually looks like Sail to me, but whatever. The upper on this shoe is amazing. It's actually one of the best uppers I've seen on the shoe in a very, very long time that Nike done. But the sole on the shoe is just too much sole. The sole is way too bulky. I feel like if they just made the sole just slightly smaller, slightly smaller, the shoe will be amazing. I would definitely cop these just for regular wear or gym wear. Actually, if I could see this shoe in the Air Max 90 bottom, this shoe will be amazing. The sole is just too much. I can see a lot of short dudes getting it. I think it's releasing on October 5th. I don't know, man. This shoe is not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just the sole is just too much. It's just, it's just too much. But I do appreciate that Nike's doing something different when it comes to these shoes and silhouettes. This I can appreciate that. This is them trying something new opposed to just rehashing the same old silhouettes and whatnot. But the Air Max uh, Scorpion Phantom coming out October 5th. I like it. The bottom of the shoe looks crazy. It looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Yeah, this is good. This is a good... It, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm kind of torn because the upper is so good, but the bottom is kind of destroying the shoe for me. But I can appreciate the bottom and the colorway. If it just made it slightly... It's slightly smaller. I hope they come out with a, a light version of these, like how we had like uh, regular vans and we had like low pro vans that were like a little bit slimmer. If they had a low pro of these Air Max Scorpions, I will 100% buy, particularly in this colorway. But you know, next we have the Air Jordan 1 OG Taxi. These things, when I first seen these, these are a must cop if you like Jordan 1. They remind me of the Shattered Backboards, but the shade is a bit off, and I actually like these a little bit better than the Shattered Backboard. I hope these fly under the radar. I hope I can just walk in and get these. I hope these don't have a lot of resale. Um, I hope we, I hope they make a lot of pairs of these because I really want these shoes. These are something you definitely want to add to the collection. Uh, I actually like what Jordan's doing with the Jordan Ones. They're kind of getting away from like the OG colorways and kind of just trying to come out with new colorways, things that we can garner attention around, things that we can just do different with the shoe. Um, it looks like it's made of the same leather, the same leather that the uh, the pine toes are made of, the bread toes are made of. They're really good leather that I like. I definitely need these shoes. I need these. Um, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that the oh the box is nice. Even the box is nice. Ooh, the box is a bit different. I need these, man. I need these. I definitely need these. I'm hoping that people are kind of weaning off Jordan ones. I'm hoping so. Um, so I can just get these easily. I don't want to see these everywhere. Matter of fact, I don't care if I see them everywhere. I want these and I'm getting these. Let me know. Now we got some New Balance 550s, another collab with a mean Leon Dior. I'm kind of over these 550s to be honest. I don't even have a pair. I'm actually over these 550s. Um, they kind of like, they came and hit the scene hard. A lot of people are wearing them. Um, but they're going to keep pumping these bad boys out. I feel like. They should have just left these with that the, that the original package, the original collection that they did, the red ones, the white on whites, and the greens. They should have left that alone. Don't run these, don't run this model into the floor. Whenever like another shoe silhouette comes out and it's kind of popular, the company usually just makes a bunch of them and kind of run them into the ground and not let the shoe really breathe and whatnot. These particular uh, ones, I'm not really a fan of because if you look at the, uh, the sole, the, uh, the sole is two tones, it's two colors, but the colors are so close to each other that it looks like it's one color. And I like the color blocking of like one color and a hard, a harsh color. I don't like how the sole is just one color. And the 550s, I'm not a crazy fan of. I'm, I'm that's not true. I'm not a crazy fan, but I do like them. But they kind of ran to the ground, and with they collab into death with these, I am kind of cool on these uh, New Balance 550s. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Um, drop for me, pass for me, not getting them, not interested. Now we got the Trophy Room Air Jordan 7s. If you don't know, the Trophy Room is ran by uh, Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan, and he does collabs with uh, his store and obviously the Jordans. Uh, he done a couple of them. This is the Air Jordan 7. <sighs> when I first seen this shoe, the first thing I thought is that it looks like a Carmine in an Olympic 7 had a baby. I'm not particularly a fan of the Air Jordan 7, so it could be the 
fact that the, the fact that I'm not a fan of the or Air Jordan Seven, that's why I don't like the shoes. But I just feel like this wasn't this wasn't it. This is not it. Um, I'm I'm kind of cool on these. I do like how you had the metallic Jumpman though, and the metallic uh, emblem on the back. I'm I just feel like a kid made these. Like these don't like. I feel like he thinks he put a lot of thought into these, but it, I just feel like it didn't deliver. I'm kind of cool, and I feel like these might have a lot of hype. It might have a new. It might have a lot of resale for these, just because it's a collab with Trophy Room. But I feel like he's been missing a lot lately with the Trophy Room. These are definitely a pass for me. The boxes, though, the packaging is pretty nice. Like the slight touches with the Trophy Room and the metallic hold on the side. Uh, I like that. That's cool. Even in the inside, the, the box is dope. I like the box. It's just, I'm not a fan of the shoe. Definitely a pass. All right, now we got the LeBron 20. It's been a long time since I have personally looked forward to a basketball looking shoe. Uh, even though a lot of shoes that I have are technically basketball shoes. But if you like sneakers, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's remembering the first championship in 2012. It has the bread colorway. Um, his son, Bronny, and I forgot his other son's name, they're wearing them a lot. You see him on social media. Uh, but this is a lot, of, uh, a lot of people, maybe a lot of hoopers are looking forward to this particular shoe. Um, not me, um, but it's a lot of hype around it. But I'm kind of cool. I can't imagine myself not even wearing these for gym because I don't ball. It could be that the fact that I don't hoop, I don't want these shoes. But even, even for like a workout shoe, I'm kind of I'm passing on. But it's a lot of hype. I'm definitely passing on these. Hopefully you hoopers are happy when you get this shoe. I'ma pass. Now we got the Air Jordan 4 collab with a mod mayor. When I first seen these, these things are sexy, these things are beautiful, these things are a must have. Again, they got a sale, uh, a sale soul. I'm a sucker for a sale soul. Looking at the detailed images of these, man, yo, these are good. These are amazing. I need these. It's like a it's like a um washed out mauve or a washed out purple. Um, I hope that these come with a different uh, lace swap. So I want to lace swap these. I want some sail laces. Like the, the laces that come with it are pretty cool. But I just feel like a sail lace will make these things pop. Even if it made the neck kind of uh, sail, that would have been dope. Maybe I just want too much sail. It could just be that. I don't know. But these things are amazing. Um, I have not been excited for Amir uh, for collab with this company since the three. When the Air Jordan 3 was amazing. The other two the other two that they did wasn't that amazing, but you can't miss with the four, and they did not miss. This is a must-have. I'm pretty sure these are going to be hard to get. This is going to be limited, but I'm going to try my best to get them. If they're not too much after aftermarket or if they're not too much resale price, I'm definitely going to try to get them. These things are dope. I'm going to check them out. I know we're talking about the coming weeks, but let's talk about the holiday season. You know, Jordan Brand always released a Jordan 11 during the holiday, and this year we're getting the Cherry 11 highs. Now, if you know, we always wanted the Cherry highs. We had the Cherry lows. The Cherry lows went crazy when they came out. Everyone had them. Everybody wanted them. But we got the Cherry highs. Now, personally, I get the uh, history and the storyline with these shoes. I personally don't want them. I have the Cool Grays, I have the Space Jams, I might get some Concords, but I don't want the Cherry 11 highs. But this shoe is going to be everywhere come December. Everybody gonna want these shoes. They done it right, it has the right shape. It's probably gonna be 225, honestly. But I'm not excited for them. No, I'm sorry, I'm not, not gonna say I'm not excited for them. I just don't want them. I'm excited that Jordan Brand actually made the Cherry 11 highs and are releasing them finally because people have been blowing these cherries to death. But these shoes are gonna be everywhere, but they're going to be a pass for me. My mind could change, but I'm just not a big fan of, I don't know. I can't say I'm not a big fan of white and red shoes because I just got the Fire Red 3s, I have the Katrina 3s, I have the Carmine 3s. Like I like white and red shoes. Maybe I don't like the white and red 11. Maybe that red patent leather is just too much for me. Um, but yeah, expect to have everyone going crazy during holiday. If you're gonna go out and get these, please be safe because it's going to be mayhem. I guarantee you. Whenever it's an 11, and whenever it's an 11 that has red in it, crazy. Think about the red 11s. Just think about what happened when those came out. Crazy. Be safe. But um, yeah, pass for me. But that is it for the cop and drop. Let me know what you're going to be getting. Are you going to cop any of these? Are you not going to cop any of these? Are you going to pass on all of them? Let me know down in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Nigga, I'm coach. That's dope.